Allow me to introduce you to the black pill controller board. You're already familiar with the blue pill. They both go by the designation STM32 F103 C8 T6. Sketches can be written so that they can run on either one. At $4, it would lead you to believe that the only difference is that this is a higher end version of the blue pill. There's actually quite a bit of difference between the two boards and uh, the feature that we're most uh, interested in is it's uh, high performance, high resolution, low noise, uh, analog digital converter, the ADC. There are also uh, physical differences between the boards. The pinouts are different. The blue pill actually has um, less pins at 34 versus 40 for the blue pill. The Center distances of the uh, headers are uh, 700 thou for the black pill, one row more narrow at 600 thou for the blue pill. And the black pill is more 3.3 volt focused, so that kind of changes our uh, firmware flash procedure. Number 61 was a reference video on the blue pill firmware flash, number 71 on the Bluetooth module flash. So I think it's appropriate that number 81 be a reference video on the Black Pill firmware flash. One thing that will remain the same is that we're going to be using the STM32Utils app that can be found on the Google Play Store. You will need one of these, a CP2102 USB to TTL module, um, about two bucks on AliExpress. It has onboard 3.3 volt voltage regulation. It ships with these female-to-female -female DuPont cables. So just hook up the uh, DuPont cables between the CP2102 adapter and the black pill as shown. Also set the bootloader jumper to the serial programming position on the black pill. You'll need an OTG cable to power the CP2102 module. Plug in the OTG cable to your tablet or your smartphone. Depress the reset button on the black pill. Initialize a chipset. The blue cube is for the library. The free version of uh, STM32Utils will allow you to flash any of the projects on the library or any of your own projects that you have stored on your um, Android device. We're going to scroll through here for an example. We're going to be using the HS10X oscilloscope STM32 F103 C8 T6 for the blue pill or the black pill device version number 5. Flash the firmware. Firmware is running. Unplug the OTG cable. Be sure to reposition the bootloader cable to position zero. Look forward to upcoming projects that will be using this Blackpill microcontroller board. Talk to you guys soon.